Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I've gone for a wearable editorial style makeup where I've got a very softly diffused, beautiful burgundy eye with heaps of golden highlight on my brow bone, my cheeks in here, on my lips and perfect glowing skin. That's what I'm doing today with, of course, red eyeliner, guys. Marc Jacobs have sponsored the eye portion of this. I'm using their new Omega eyeshadows and their new highlighters, their glittery ones. I have a spare one because they sent me two. They keep trying to hook me up with heaps, so I've got a lifetime supply, but I just want one of you guys to have one. So you'll be able to recreate part of this look yourself. All you've got to do to enter is leave a comment in the comment section within the first 12 hours, which means you've got to be a subscriber and a member of the notification squad. So hit the subscribe button and the bell if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys down in the comments. Yeah, so this is the look I came up with, guys. I love it, and I'm about to go wear it out tonight, so I'm going to go and salsa, and I'll leave you guys with the tutorial. And so I already put my moisturizer on and for that I use the C Rush from Ulla Henriksen. I'm now going to use my Banana Bright Eye Cream, which I really like to use before I do my makeup. All the celebrity makeup artists do that. So this primer, I don't actually think I've used this one, but I've had it for a while. It's the Urban Decay Self-Adjusting Complexion Primer. So it's like a white color. Ooh, is it meant to be like that? Okay, I don't know if you can see that. But it has like little dark dots in it and I think they're gonna like pop on my face. Can you see that at all? Anyway, I guess it's gonna even out my skin as I apply it. This one's also meant to control oil. Ooh, feels like dry. Weird. Hmm. I think that looks really nice. So the foundation I'm gonna use is my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in M30. Probably, that was probably too much because I'm going to use a brush today, not a sponge. Wow, really good match. Oh, if you're wondering, this is the Sigma Flat Kabuki Brush. I'm just going to take whatever's left on my hand and make sure it's blended into my jawline. This is something that Seva always calls me out for, like, my jawline is not blended. I think I'm lazy. Okay. How good does that look? For eyebrows, guys, I've really been loving this pencil from Rimmel, Brow This Way. And this one's in soft black, which is probably like a little bit too dark for me. But every time I do my eyebrows with it, my eyebrows come out looking so good. I just make sure I use a really light hand. Then for eye primer, I'm going to use the KKW X Argenis eye color and this one's in the color Moyor. Put this on my eyelid. Oh, it's nice and creamy. I guess I'll use my finger. I'll take a blending brush and make sure that's really soft. Okay guys, I have to tell you something. I had so much on today that I just had to run off to an event. I wore my makeup like this to the event. This is me coming back. I just have to like freshen everything up again before we resume. I've just like got too much on right now. And then I got a message from my sister saying that my dad had to go to the hospital in the ambulance. So today has not been good. He's okay. It's not a heart attack, but still like freaked me out obviously. So I'm just putting um, eyebrow gel on. This is the Ready Set Brow. And I'm just going to like take a little bit more of the Argenis stuff because it did crease a little bit, interestingly. I smoothed it out, but now I'm just going to add a bit more. But I got a lot of compliments at the event, like people asking me what I had on my eyes. So it came out pretty nice. Everyone said it was like editorial and I was like, oh, well, that's what I'm going for. So I'll put a bit more on. But remember, this is just a base. Oh, wow, what a day. Okay, guys, so Marc Jacobs have sponsored me to use a couple of their products in this video. I'm going to be showing you the new eyeshadows called the Omega, like O exclamation mark, Mega. What is on my nose? It's itchy. Marc Jacobs has released these Omega 
shadows and they're like single shadows that come in a large pan it's three times the size of this pans that you get in like palettes and basically he noticed that people were running out of like their fave colors in their palette and so the idea of this is that you'll never run out of your most used shades so he's got quite a few colors and they're all like very common loved shades i picked a maroon one because i wanted to do like a monochromatic editorial look these are actually called the omega shadow gel powder eyeshadows they call it that because they have gel coated pigments they like glide on and then they stay for 12 hours so i'm gonna take this it's got a nice little mirror in it and they have like a crease proof texture so let's test that out i'm gonna use this big fluffy brush Of like very unique texture like very glidey if that makes sense very silky on the eye and that's like way more pigment that I anticipated so I am gonna have to be careful when I'm blending it out so I don't, I don't think I'm gonna use any more there wow it's beautifully rich And then I guess I'll just work on the edges. That was quick. Wow. Okay, I'm going to take some concealer and I'm going to carve out under my eye. Because I don't want it to go that high. Cool. Yay, this is turning out well. And then something that I always really like to do is, why do they make it so hard to open though? The KKW Brightening Powders, guys, I find that they're really good for brow bone highlight. You know, if you want like a barely there kind of product. And I like it because it has these like shimmery reflective pearls in them, but it's super natural. Like I really like KKW products. It's just really nice and light. But then I'm going to have to go back, make sure it's super blended, because key to this is having that professional blend. How's that? Okay, under the eye as well. I'm going to take like a little stiffer brush. This one is Sigma Medium Sweeper E54. Pick up some of that. Wait, have you guys noticed that there's no fallout? Interesting. I always enjoy when something doesn't have fallout because it just saves me a step. I'm going to take that mahoosive brush and I'm going to try to use that to blend out underneath. Guys, I'm so proud of my blending. This eyeshadow is blending really good, like this is just one colour. Now I've got to do it to the other side. So, I'll take more. Pretty good, right? I know it looks a bit messy, but everything's gonna tidy up in a sec. Now I'm gonna proceed and conceal. This is the No Filter Concealer from ColourPop in the color Light. Oh no, Medium 30. Bring it in there. Blending that out. This brush is too big. My god, blending is so tedious. And then next is the Marc Jacobs Glam Glitter Gel Crayon. Gel Eye Crayon. <laughs> Brands make the longest names, honestly. Let me read this. Highliner Glam Glitter Gel Eye Crayon. I didn't do too bad. And I picked it because they're going to make a really nice duo. Let me swatch this. So this is the eyeshadow. And then the highliner in Glam Jam. It's a really nice red with nice glitter pigments in it. They have neutrals but they also have some fun shades so I wanted to pick a fun shade so I got the red one. Now this is waterproof guys and I was swatching them on the back of my hand yesterday I could not get it off. <laughs> so the fact that it's waterproof makes it perfect for my waterline so I'm just gonna like nip my eyeliner down. Oh wow, it's so vibrant. I 
Oh, that's so pretty. I'm glad I did this. It's like a really pretty sparkle on my inner corner here. I love that. Wow, my eyes look so green. Okay. I'm making sure to drag it down a little bit on the inner corner so I get some of that sparkle showing. I need to wear more like red colors. I think they look good on my eye color. One of my fave mascaras. It's definitely my favorite of the moment, the NARS Climax. I really like it, especially the brush bristles and the fact that my lashes just, they don't clump together like at all. It's just so quick, like because it doesn't clump, I don't need to manipulate it as much and spend as much time. So now I've got this Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. So obviously that one's gold. You can't really tell, but this one's like a white with a gold throw and this one's got a pink throw. I'm gonna take the white with gold reflex mix it in with a little bit of the gold one. The one thing I don't like is there's no mirror in this. They're really expensive, so I feel like they probably should have a mirror. Put that here on my brow bone. Then I will blend that out. And then in here too. Take a little blending brush and blend it out. I have some real gold leaf here and we're going to put that just kind of like dabbed on the inner side here, a little bit outside of my eye. So I'm going to take glitter glue from Too Faced, put a bit on the back. Oh yeah, yeah, I just <laughs> pat that up here. And then I've got these tinsy wincy little tweezers. I'm going to pick off some of that break it up on the back of my hand okay i've got little tiny pieces i'm gonna stick them down here okay so these are the iconic london lashes on i'm gonna take the brightening powder from kkw sweep it up under the eye and then i'll also put some here some radiance there. I want my nose to be very snatched, so I'm gonna take this contour powder. It's by Rodile. I've been using it a lot, guys. It's in this really nice, like, leathery, I think that's probably fake leather, but compact, and it's a contouring powder in 03. It's a really good cool tone for contouring, and I'm using it with my Artiste. Wow, that's so hard to read. It's the Linear 3. So easy to sculpt out my nose with this. I'll link this below if you want to buy it. It's so good. I'll take a little bit of that. So sculpting out like this top part of the cheek by just doing like a little oval here. See how that's just making like a little shadow? I'm just gonna bronze a little bit. This is the Bronze 03 from Laura Mercier. It's like a baked bronzer, it's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna take that Pat McGrath highlighter again. Make sure it's the same. Okay. Clean brush now. Okay, a little bit here and here. Yes. Now I'm going to use this iconic London Water Mist Glow. Okay, I got the brush a bit damp. I'm going to work that into the product. It's going to become one with the skin then. Whoa, see that? That's beautiful. Now, I bought this lip liner at Kohl's. It's from Maybelline and it's called the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in 105 Nude Whisper. 
and I really like it because it's a really good lip colour for me. See how it's just like my lip colour? Now I've been wanting to use this on camera for a while, it's another Pat McGrath product and it's this glittery lipstick, it's more like a lip balm but it's gold. Oh, that's pretty. So it's like sheer with gold glitter in it. Let's finish off the look with MAC Warm Soul Mineralized Blush. Really good natural cheek color. Although it has shimmer in it, so. Mmm. Complete. Guys, I don't normally like those cringy posing um, things, but I'm going to do it for this, okay? Okay, ready? Let's have a turn on the porno music. Okay guys, that's the end of the tutorial. I'm obsessed with how it came out. I just did a little like selfie session. I can't wait to upload it for you guys to see on my Instagram. I love it. I mean, I've gone overboard with the highlight and that's what I wanted to do. I really love the one eyeshadow color and then that little extra pop of red on my waterline to just enhance that beautiful burgundy Marc Jacobs eyeshadow. It's a nice subtle sparkle in there that you're gonna see when the light hits it and um, going salsa dancing tonight, so it's gonna be good. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got quite a few editorial looks like saved on my phone that I've been meaning to try. Some really fun like neons and stuff and I wanna give that a go. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a comment to enter the contest and I'll see you in the next video. And thank you Marc Jacobs for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.